Welcome to today's video where we'll be exploring the amazing small business planning system, SOSTAC. If you're a small business owner, you know the trials and tribulations that surround planning your business. Whether you're beginning to unveil a new product, partner with new people, or maybe starting to rebrand or anything like that, planning is a very necessary part of the process. However, planning out your tasks and goals can appear a little daunting. What if you forget something? Where do you even start? Don't panic! Don't, don't panic! Instead of aimlessly searching for a way to organise your ideas for your small business, you can use a system that is designed to help you optimise the process of planning so that you can implement your ideas and goals. Sostack is a planning system created in the 1990s by writer and speaker P.R. Smith. It's designed to assist small business owners in achieving their business goals by helping organise and optimise each step of the business process. SOSTAC is an acronym that stands for Situation Analysis, Objectives, Strategy, Tactics, Actions and Control. When you use this model in that order, you'll not only be able to plan for the future, but also adjust and improve your pre-existing business concepts. Each step allows you to think intuitively about each aspect of your business and discover new ways to improve each component. Let's take a deeper look at how SOSTAC works and how you'll be able to begin using it to plan your small business. The first step in the SOSTAC process is situation analysis. Situation analysis, at its core, is the process of understanding the current state your business is in. This means that you'll take a closer look at your current market trends, customer insights, and ask who, what, why, and how in terms of your business and its success. This also means taking a look at outside market trends, competitor analysis, and how they're able to maintain and improve on their own company. This step requires you to think beyond the surface level and to truly look at how your business is operating. You'll want to try and only look at things at face value, but the more you dive deeply into each aspect of your company, the sooner you'll be able to find where you're succeeding and where you actually need improvement. After you've taken a look at the inner workings of your company and explored both the current state of your company as well as the current state of business as a whole, it's time to formulate some objectives. This will help you take the first step in either making completely new changes or improving on pre-existing concepts. To best start forming objectives, you'll want to use the five S's which are sell, serve, sizzle, speak and save. Each of these components will help you better address every area of business. To sell is to understand where you want to actually take your business when it comes to customer acquisition and retention targets. To serve is to explore ideas that improve customer satisfaction. To sizzle is to add that wow factor to your business and make it really stand out from the crowd. To speak is to work on engaging customers and promoting a diverse conversation surrounding your business. And finally, to save is to begin to actually quantify efficiency gains. This might mean monetarily or through another form of measurement. Using this format can help you create productive set objectives that stretch across each aspect of business and business planning. Our next step is strategy, which will take a look at the objectives that you've created and discover ways to begin to actually implement them in the best form of fashion. In SOSTAC, strategy involves another acronym called STOP and SIT. It stands for segment, target market, objectives, positioning, sequence, integration, and targeting and segmentation. Let's take a look at each step. Segmenting means to break down each objective into smaller parts so that you're able to best address each specific action that you want to achieve. Target market explores what market you would like to actually focus each objective towards. Note that target markets all also can overlap and intertwine with each other. Now objectives create objectives just for the strategizing step. This means that you will take the time to understand what you actually want out of the strategizing step as a whole. Positioning involves you placing emphasis on each objective and directing a strategy to each component. To sequence is to plan and pace out your strategy into steps so that you'll be able to begin each part appropriately. Integration begins to implement the strategy and objectives that you've already created and target and segmentation works to explore the strategies that you've implemented and see what actually needs improving. 
the next step in the soft stack planning system is tactic which explores how you actually get where you want to be in your business similar to strategy tactics use their own form of planning to better understand where you actually want to take each idea that you have for your business one amazing way to carry out this process is through using a content plan this will help you organize what you actually want to put into your business it's also a wise idea to explore marketing tactics and way that you can actually promote communication to your customers Tactics also involve exploring the other aspects of the SOSTAC planning system, like the five S's, to help understand where your business will actually go. Next, it is time to take action. It is time to work to achieve what you've so dedicatedly planned out. There are many different ways that you're actually able to take action and implement all your planning. They include, but are not limited to, taking a strong hold of responsibility in the business, processing systems, exploring resources and skills, both internally and externally, consuming new processes to actually achieve your goals. Finally, we are at the last step of the SOSTAC planning system. We made it! This is reserved for control. Control means to take control of your business and put in the necessary work to maintain all the hard work you have put in the planning process. There are many different forms of controls that need to take place to maintain the success of your business. Monitoring performance through the five S's, KPIs, web analytics, the act of reporting, experience review, conversion rate optimization, and action reporting all help to help maintain the longevity of your business. We hope that you have enjoyed this in-depth look at the SOSTAC planning system and will work to use it within your business planning needs. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. We'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.